Hi everyone, welcome to Trains on Tuesday. And what has turned out to be part three of my trying purchases for this year. Um, what are we today? The 23rd of October, 2018. Hmm. Um, since putting up part two of my trying purchases, I've been to the Mount Cheam uh, Lions Club Model Railway Show in Chilliwack, BC, uh, a once a year event, and this year trying was front and centre. There was a lot of trying stuff there, an awful lot of trying stuff. So, uh, that's not everything I bought, uh, you know, I, I, I didn't confine myself to trying, I bought other stuff too, uh, but we'll uh, We'll start with the trying, and if there's time, we'll, we'll go through some of the other stuff I got as well. Uh, but first, we're going to go back to the uh, the poor old hall with its missing cylinders. I've done a service on that. Um, got that pinched wire out from underneath the motor. And uh, she runs really nice. But after about an hour of uh, test running around here, I took the uh, shell off again and had a look and there's a little more little more grinding going on in the gears. So she's a poor old thing and she's either going to end up being a source of parts for other locos or other parts are going to be found to fix this one. But anyway, let's start off with a little bit of running of my hall. Well, as you could see, uh, the hall runs reasonably well. Um, okay, let's get into the purchases for this uh, this time around. I got four mineral wagons, R243. Um, one of them's a newer one with the uh, plastic chassis, and it's painted black inside, as you can see. And the others are the older ones. Two of them came boxed. Then I came across a bogey well wagon and I wanted one of these. I didn't have one. This is one of the really old ones. It's got the bayonet couplers. And then I came across another one. Another bogey well wagon. This is the R18 slash 213, depending on uh, the application of it, I guess. And that one was boxed. Now next up, I was so thrilled to see this even though I instant, instantly noticed that the cupola was missing off the top. Should be a cupola sitting right there. And now when I looked at it, I thought I saw both plows on it, uh, side wings. But it doesn't have the other one on the other side. I have never seen that particular one before in the brown like that. Um, anyway, the guy basically gave it to me. So it was a it was a deal. It was a bargain. Um, I do have others, and I may be able to to um, patch it into, a, into into a good one. So that would be the R one thirty eight, and in the Canadian catalog, it's listed as thirteen eighty one. R one twenty four Western Region Brake Van. Uh, this one came boxed, nice box actually, and the the, uh, the brake van is in very good condition. It's quite an old one. It's uh, it has the metal uh, underframe and the solid pin axles right through, not the pin points. Uh, next, heck of a deal. Now these here, I'm going to try and get the camera down a little better. There we go. Canadian Pacific 30 foot containers on flat car. Now this is the black flat car, which makes it an early flat car. And I got that one, which I already had before. And that one was R7352. And this one is R7360, 
Uh, again a black flat car, 30 foot containers with the Canadian Pacific Sea Containers Inc. on. Now I had not seen these ones before. Okay, moving on. That's it for rolling stock, uh, at least for now anyway. Moving on, I've got an R495 again, another one of these, single track crossing. Incomplete, it doesn't have the piece that clips into the rails there. But it did come with a set of gates for the double crossing. And I do have a double crossing. Dates right back to my childhood. And I'm not sure about the gates on that one. So anyway, spare parts. Add that to the one I got uh, the previous week and uh, can make, probably make one good crossing out of it. Next up, we have R189 Brick Bridge. And after that, R180, the viaduct, three arch viaduct. That's my second one of those. I gotta get somewhere to set this stuff up. Okay, next up, uh, I found a box. It had 11 catenary masks in it. Now these have had the, uh, the pin that clips into the track cut off and holes drilled in for a screw. Um, if I ever get set up with uh, a triangle layout, I'll be able to use them. Very nice. By the way, the container wagons that I got that I showed you there, the Canadian Pacific container wagons, uh, just to give you an idea of how good the bargains were. They were two dollars a piece. Unbelievable. All right, moving along. In a box or on a table marked free stuff, I noticed a box with some um, inclined piers. Now these I know fit the Series 4 track and probably the Series 3 as well. So I grab that box and by the time I got it sorted out there should be six piers here I've got uh, six or seven seven piers um, two missing there to make a ramp up this way but here and I have set this up there's the high one and then piers there I got enough for one ramp now I do have some of these uh, incomplete sets. I'm hoping when I dig those out I can uh, I can uh, make a complete set of ramps up and down. Um, that was the R457. Now some really old ramps. R79. They were in there as well in that same freebie box. And they fit the standard track. So I have a set of piers, six piers here. Give me a ramp on the standard track that I showed you last week. Next up we have one set of R456 sidewalls straight. Uh, these go on to the uh, to the incline and also in that bag were R431 one set of those uh, large radius curved and in addition with those two gray ones there now they fit the standard track um, not really sure what they are next up I got four packets of station platform with canopy, with seat, with the name board, and a wall. Four packets of those. Now this one here, this little jumbled lot here, I don't find an R number on there per se. Um, one part of it has R68, another part of it has R73. I'm just calling it station uh, canopy accessories. This old station that I have here, a little worse for wear, it's got a broken window. 
Um, you can probably see on there, there's a yellow blob there and a hole on this side. Well, that's where this fits. Slides into there. It gives you a nice canopy on the, on the station. On the back side of the station, this one fits over the door. If I can get it in there, I'll show you. There we go. So that fits there. And that one would be there. There we go. Uh, in addition to that, there is this funny little piece here with a... Uh, there we go. Sorry, I'm calling it a funny little piece and you can't even see it. Um, this will set up as a double canopy. I've only got one leg for it, but that's... Uh, not that difficult. Included in there were three sections of sidewall, two of them, two of them with Margate on, and the other one with Red Hill. Anyway, little walls, and they plug into the uh, into the platforms as well. So I got that. That was only a few cents. Um, Set of stairs. Now these are marked Hornby, I think, or tri trying Hornby. Um, it's just part of a larger set. Um, right, moving on down. We're getting almost to the end of the trying stuff here. Somebody had attempted to put a Biggin Hill model um, shell onto the R. 54s chassis obviously it's totally wrong the reason i bought this is a because the chassis is good uh, the smoke unit is good that will all run quite nicely and b because i have a model um plastic model kit of um the battle of britain class and I'm missing a few parts and there are parts on this one I like the green plastic on this one I don't know there's nothing marked in there to indicate that it was a kit master or an airfix but it's certainly pre uh, dapol days um, very crisp moldings on it it's it's actually quite nice don't know what I'll end up doing with the bulk of it and to wrap up the trying stuff there was a bag a bag with bits and pieces in uh, a wagon under frame not quite sure what that thing there is with the wheel on a couple of Lima um, passenger coach bogies an electric signal trying electric signal a power clip for series 3 track and three power clips for series 4 track an uncoupling ramp and eight of these short little sections of series 3 track i think that's the r192 so that concludes the trying stuff now we'll get into the other stuff a backman tank wagon so a Backman MFA, um, it's listed as EWS X uh, Rail Freight Delivery, so it's got the Rail Freight Delivery logo there. Yeah, it's not going to focus. That is so new in box, it still has the little paper sleeve in the bottom. Five bucks for that one. And what is listed on the box as a bullied coach um this is early backman because it still has the uh um mainline couplers beautiful coach very nice condition but i'm not sure if it's a bullet or if it's a mark one it may be in the wrong box anyway nice coach and moving along i got a hornby pullman car another uh another break uh, I have three of these full-size 
uh, Pullman cars and they're all brakes but this has got a different car number to it car 54 uh, right next door to that quite cheap a Lima class 4500 uh, 262 tank and that runs absolutely sweet as anything the worst thing about it is a previous owner thought it would be just fine without couplers and cut the couplers off and I'm not sure how I'm going to get couplers back on it but I want it to be able to pull and push uh, trains around uh, a few bits and pieces here picked up out of the freebie box I got a couple of packets of trees um, again on the freebie table it says one dollar but it was in the freebie table I didn't pay anything for that and it uh, says snow I certainly hope that's what it is in there it's something uh, safe a uh, box full of all sorts of bits and pieces some life rings uh, couplers more KD couplers double uh, O scale hay bales that'd be interesting and a couple of uh, wagon roofs next to nothing for those uh, very cheap some CN decals uh, these are used some parts have been taken out from them but there are the numbers there that I need for a couple of locomotives so quite excited to get that again on the freebie table an SW 1200 shell in CP rail um, I can certainly use that I can just take one of my CN shells off of one of my other ones and pop that on when I want to run CP and vice versa and again in the freebie table a couple of bridge girders quite long ones those ones actually so pretty good extremely cheap I got myself a DVT shell driving van trailer um, not sure what I'm gonna do with it got no use for it at all I'll probably end up taking it back to England and essentially giving it away also on the freebie table was this if you can see it Vancouver Harbor uh, panoramic photo mural mural and I'm going to show you some of that that was listed at $20 but it was on the freebie table I'm going to, I'm going to open that up and show you Right, let's see if I can get this opened up so that you can at least see the first sheet. There are three sheets there, all joined together. Uh, oh yeah, I don't know if I can do that. Let me see. There we go. Vancouver waterfront one of three sheets that all joined together I'm gonna to make use of that okay guys we're getting near the end of it now in the freebies was this box with paints wheels odd bits and pieces that can be used in dioramas some steam locomotive decals glue pretty decent motor down there and all sorts of little bogey parts truck parts um, various things we can use now we're going to go off railway stuff right now for a little bit but we'll come back to a little bit more railway stuff right at the end so I also indulged in my other passion which is model aircraft and and uh, military vehicles that was five dollars as you can see uh, an old airfix Gloucester media 3 looking forward to that one RAF personnel a Toyota starter truck um, for starting the aero engines 
and a Heichel HE219 Night Fighter. Now I managed to talk one vendor out of two boxes, Kitmaster boxes. They're both the same, but I got them for absolutely nothing. All he had to do was empty the stuff out of them that he was trying to sell out of them. And he gave them to me, and uh, really happy to have those boxes, although they're the same, and they're actually the second and third ones of those that I have. But um, I may end up selling those. Now, here is what I'm going to consider to be just about the best for last. An Atherin blue box and a Kitmaster coach box. And what's inside? Kitmaster Blue Deltic. And in this one, another Kitmaster Blue Deltic. And I say it's the Kitmaster one because the window uh, moldings are there. All the windows are there. Absolutely beautiful. Um, there's not enough between the two boxes to actually make one complete one. The only thing that's going to be missing if I build one up is uh, two buffers. But that shouldn't be too difficult. Otherwise, um, a good I can make one good one and some parts somebody had attempted to motorize this one so there are a few holes cut in the floor but uh, anyway they are Kitmaster um, blue deltics prototype deltics complete with windows and you never guess what I paid for them 50 cents a piece unreal so there we have it guys, my purchases at the Mount Cheam Lions Club annual show. Um, it does reinforce what I say about the hobby here in Canada um, and North America I think. It does seem to be slipping. Um, that Mount Cheam uh, uh, show every year seems to be a clearinghouse for people just getting rid of stuff. There were so many vendors there that were just saying, yeah, this is an estate I'm clearing out. I just want to get rid of it. Hence prices like $1 for, for uh, passenger cars, um, 50 cents for things, um, $2 for something else. There were some other things, um, very good things. I'm not going to be able to show you any of the, um, the other dealer vendors um, with their with their uh, new merchandise but I do have footage of the show itself and the uh, and the layouts that were there and I hope to have that video together shortly that will probably not be a trains on Tuesday one that will probably come out as a, as a uh, an interim one anyway that's it long video again I hope you've enjoyed it uh, hope you had a good hot beverage with you while you were while you were watching Thank you for watching. Thank you to all my subscribers, now 325. Um, I'm really enjoying this and enjoying your company and your comments. So that's it for this Trains on Tuesday. We'll see you again next week. Bye.